sand bars. I'm at my beach and I've here is a turban snail. It may just look like a normal shell, but there's a little sluggy thing inside it. It lives in the ocean. Turban snails, this species of snail, are native to Australia. It might be looking for algae, because that's what it eats. Aboriginal people, who are the original people of mainland Australia, use turban snails for food. The turban snail shells are usually found in Aboriginal people's seashell middens. Aboriginal peoples also used turban snail shells to make fish hooks. Turban snails live on intertidal rock platforms, which has a constant supply of algae. They shelter in crevices or under rocks with a depth of about 10 meters. I'm going to pick him up from this and see if we can close his aperture. When you lift a turban snail from the rock and any sea snail for that matter, it will hide inside its shell and it closes it up. It's a perculum. The perculum is a, like a door to keep out predators like fish, crabs and birds. The operculum is a hard protective covering which grows with the snail. Ah, oh, here we are. Do you see it there? This is a very interesting. Don't think he wants to close it. He's realising I'm not going to eat him so he's decided not to close it anymore. When a snail dies, it's a perculum and sometimes we found washed up on the shore of a beach. I found a lot of a perculum speech combing because it's made of like what we are made of, organs and stuff. Once this snail dies, this shell will be like this big one here. The adult size is this big. And inside it would be this. Perculum. Now it doesn't belong to it, but this would go inside that. All shells used to have an animal in them. He's on the move a bit. Now, before I say goodbye, I have something to tell you. Snail's coming out of the water. A few months ago in autumn, I was here. The tide was really low, it was low tide. Me and some locals, Cohen and Sam, found a blue lion octopus, which is one of the blue ringed octopus species here in Sydney. This one was quite big for a blue ringed octopus. All species of blue ringed octopus have blue circles on their skin. When they feel threatened, they light it up blue for a threat display as one to stay away. And they're one of the most venomous creatures of the ocean. They can kill someone in 10 minutes, which is even shorter than the Sydney funnel red bite. But they are shy and non-aggressive, so they're not gonna come and get you. Should we let him go? Yeah, but probably not your own. Yeah. It's too dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, wait, just maybe put him on the Put it over further in the rock pools. Yeah. Caught a blue ring? <laughs> they're very venomous. Yeah. Don't want them to bite you. They have beaks. Yeah, that's how they get you. Pretty, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. So, this is a rare opportunity to see underneath it. Because they're usually on the rocks and you can't see underneath it. Gonna put him back in the ocean now. Better say goodbye, so thanks for watching and bye for now. I'll see you on our next adventure. Subscribe so you can join me on our next adventure.